What's going on everybody? It's your boy Gambino, a brand new video. And uh, we had a huge pickup this month. So I got a message on Instagram from a viewer who was looking to sell his entire collection. And he was local, so I decided to go meet him in person. And we got a pretty good deal for both of us. He was excited to get rid of it. I was excited to pick it up. So we're gonna go over everything I picked up today. And if you do enjoy what you see, please be sure to leave a like. We're trying to put out content every single day. We're on the road to 250 subscribers. So today, we're going to be breaking down it was about 150 ish plus games so today we're going to be breaking down just the handhelds next week we'll be going over the mainline console so handheld wise we did get a few physical consoles first thing we got was this black dsi super clean condition really glad to add that to my collection all i had before was a pink one so that one's nice to have uh, next we got an original nintendo ds not the greatest thing in the world but still something new to have i think i have two or three of these already so this one will probably be something i sell yeah so some of this collection you'll see stuff that i'm keeping some stuff that i'm not and uh i'll kind of just break down as i go yeah next we did get a really beat up game boy advance so i probably will be reshelling this i just have to pick up the shell online it does have some issues loading uh, like starting up it'll power on and then struggles to keep the power on with the batteries we'll be taking a look at that maybe breaking it down in a video we also did get this super cool green game boy color I don't have one of these currently, so I was really happy to add this to my collection because I do want to get the complete collection of Game Boy Colors, one of each uh, shade. And last but not least for handhelds, we got this PSP. I have not had a PSP in probably about 15 years, so I was super happy to see that. I'd been looking to get one and it kind of just fell in my lap. So next we're going to be breaking down the Nintendo DS games because we did get a good bit of those. We got a pretty solid stack. We'll start from the top. We got a cartridge only of Kingdom Hearts. I'll eventually try to buy a case for this, but it isn't worth it. I may even get rid of it and try to get a new one. Next, we got some really heavy hitters. We got Pokemon Soul Silver, which we're adding to the collection. Pokemon White, we're adding to the collection. And we got Pokemon Platinum. Originally, we just had the case, but now we have the full thing. So it was really nice to be able to add that. Next, we've got Animal Crossing, Hamsters 2, Sonic Adventure Rush, Drawn to Life, Club Penguin, Mario Party DS, Custom Robo Arena. It was really cool. Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2. I haven't played this before, but it looks really fun. Spore Creatures. This was one of my brother's favorite games when we were growing up. So I'll have to show him that. And then I got Crash of the Titans. So that's all of the DS games that I'm keeping. I already did separate a few that I'm not, but we'll show those at the end. We also did get two loose DS games. We got Nintendo Dogs and Cars. I don't know if I'll be keeping these, but they're they're super low dollar games, so I, I might as well. Okay, next, we'll look into PSP. We did get a pretty big stack of PSP games, so I was super happy about that. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Greatest hits, so I'll probably be trying to find a original copy of it. Namco Museum, also great greatest hits them hearts birth by sleep uh, final fantasy 4 the complete collection uh, that's a really cool one i've never played any final fantasy games so i'm really happy to be able to try that one i also did get final fantasy 7 and i think it's the limited edition it's got this holographic cover and some cards on the inside we got monster hunter 2 freedom first one star wars the force unleashed i didn't realize this was in a handheld version so really happy to try that out socom buzz Quizmaster, code arms aragon never seen this movie before medal of honor di joe code arms the first one I I believe the other one I showed was the second and Dark Mirror. So that is all the complete in box PSP games, but we did get a bunch of loose. We got Logan Shadow, Madden 06, Killzone, Death to Right, Bars, Splinter Cell Essentials, Crash Tag Team. That'll be fun. And a really cool one that I'm super happy to get. Simpsons game. I'll probably be looking for a case for this one. Okay, that's everything we got for the PSP. Uh, next, we'll take a look at Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. For the Game Boy Advanced, we got a Dragon Ball Z game, Kingdom Hearts. Duel Master, Tarzan. I, I remember playing this as a kid, so that's really nice to see. Lego Star Wars, Mega Man Zero Two. Never played Mega Man, so that's really cool to get. A Pac Man collection, Mega Box. We also did get a second Pac Man collection, which we're going to be selling. A Yu Yu Hakusho. My friend uh, Keegan actually is interested in this, so I'll be holding that for him. And then, never been a big fan of this anime, but I saw that it was actually worth a decent bit, so I'll be getting rid of this. It is One Piece. Okay, and then for the Game Boy Color, we did get Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Really cool game. I forgot this was translucent. And then we got a copy of Pokemon Gold, which is something that we had been missing and needed to add to the collection. Probably one of the coolest parts of this collection is a sealed Game Boy Advance game. Uh, it's not the greatest sealed but Game Boy Advance game, but it is one. It is Danny Phantom. Still sealed. It's got a little bit of damage. It's still really cool. 
it's been ages since I've seen a sealed one. Uh, let me know, would you guys like to see me open this in a short? Because um, I may be tempted to. That's everything I got handheld wise that I plan to keep. We did have a few other games that were in the collection that we're going to be getting rid of, including this Pokey Walker, because I already have two. We got two UMDs. We got Pirates of the Caribbean, and this is iRobot. And then we had a second loose copy of Star Wars Battlefront 2. So we'll be getting rid of those on our eBay shop, as well as Tarzan, which we already got earlier in the collection, and a loose copy of Pokemon Diamond. And for some reason, there was another case of it. So we have another case for Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. This one isn't a handheld, but I had it in the handheld stack for some reason. Uh, I'm currently not working on Super Nintendo, so I'll be getting rid of this copy of Double Dragon. A cool game, just don't have a Super Nintendo, so I don't have a point to keep it at the moment. And it's not the most expensive game in the world, so I can always pick it up if I do plan to collect for that. Um, next, we do have a complete copy of Pokemon Pearl. We already have one. Uh, if you've seen any of our previous videos, we picked one up, as well as a case for Pokemon Platinum, because the one I got in the collection came with a case. But yeah, we'll be able to get a little bit of our money back for that. Yeah, we did spend a good bit on this collection, but I think it was well worth it to add all of this to the overall total. So I'm going to be getting everything together, putting it in price charting, cleaning it up. I'll be making some follow-up videos on that, letting you guys know how I do my cleaning process, how I figure out what I need, what I don't need in my collection, and sort stuff out like that to uh, kind of give you guys an idea for future collections for yourselves. Um, a bit of an update on me. I am starting back my last semester of college uh, when this video goes up the very next day. So we will be starting back up in school. So our videos will be not as frequent. We still do plan to have at least one full length video a week. Uh, I had been slacking a little bit on that, but we're going to get back on the ball with that. I've got a few batch creating right now. Yeah, so you'll have that. And then I do plan to cut back these shorts. I've been doing one every single day. We're probably going to cut it down to four, maybe five a week. Uh, I just because I don't have as much time to go video game hunting like I did over the summer. But that does not mean we're going to be stopping. Uh, we're still going to be doing collection breakdowns and Facebook marketplace purchases. And there is a convention I plan to hit up in September here in Louisiana. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll have a few videos off of that. Yeah, another uh, little update is we are also doing a bit of a rebranding you may have noticed we were originally called VGA Gambino that was a uh, previous thing I had been working on but now we are redoing this channel as Gambino's game room because that's what we focus on it's not really gaming it is collecting and building the game room in the collection. As you can see behind me, we're uh, starting to get things filled up. But anyway, guys, I would appreciate a like and a comment. Please let me know what you would be interested in seeing. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 250. We're doing a giveaway for, it looks like an Amazon gift card is winning the vote right now. Help us hit 250 so you can enter in for that giveaway. But anyway, guys, peace.